trying to cut, get daddy on video here, babe. You guys ready? Quiet. Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. How many bananas? So right now I've got seven bananas in here and I have three more on the side. Okay, this is a 12 cup uh, capacity, so it's only going to take about so much. So it's going to get noisy. <laughs> Nice creamy liquid, right? That's it. Was that a total of maybe 15, 20 seconds tops? Mm -hmm. So not a lot. What do we have in here? One ingredient. You want to add cinnamon? Have at it. Add some nutmeg? Have at it. But all we did is one ingredient here. This is simple, simple, simple fruit leather, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach in my drawer here. I'm going to grab offset spatula. Looks like somebody just kind of, you know, did a little chew on it kind of thing. So here's what we got. I'm gonna pour some of this. Y'all, I'm recording Daddy not too loud, okay? I'm recording Papa. I have two, three, four of these guys. What we have is we've got four racks, right? And the racks have these plastic dealies on them, but if you put the banana mix on there, it would go right through these holes. So you need these Teflex sheets. You order them on Amazon, it's like 14 bucks tops, okay, for these guys. You can get real fancy ones that are silicone, blah, 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 whatever, or Teflex or whatever they are. Uh, but basically, you've got some kind of something going on there that's not wax paper. And then I'm just gonna kind of divide this up as evenly as possible. You wanna get real fancy, grab like a cup or a half cup and measure it out for yourself, right? But all I'm doing here, it's kind of eyeballing this whole deal. That's probably about half, right? And whatever's on my finger. And then all I'm gonna do with this offset spatula is, this makes it really crazy easy to get it done. I saw somebody using a knife on that. You don't need to do that, okay? Please, don't. Don't go poking holes in your Teflex sheets, okay? So I'm just spreading this stuff out, nice and even. Works great, yeehaw. Try to kind of, you know, come along the side of it because you don't want the sides to be much thinner than the middle. If that happens, you're gonna get these uneven spots, and it's also gonna kind of dry it out and make it really hard to get your um, get your banana fruit leather banana tortillas peeled off of here. You want it to be just about as even as possible. And I'm guessing right now that I'm probably at about a quarter of an inch max, okay? And I don't want to go any smaller than I really don't want to go to like an eighth of an inch. Try to get it as uniform as possible. So there's one, right? Boom, done. How long did that take us? I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. This is not rocket science, and it's not very labor intensive. This is probably the hardest part right here, is getting, without being crazy fancy, remember, we're not doing gourmet here. This is like low budget, low time, low resource, keeping it simple, not freaking out. No fancy stuff going on here, all right? So, that's about what we got. I'm gonna even this edge up, like I promised you that you need to do. Practice what I preach over here now. And then how long does it go in the dehydrator for? I'm guessing. Okay, I'm guessing. I think the last time was about 12 to 14 hours at the most. Uh, but what you're going to want to do, I, I'm going to leave it in overnight, probably about eight hours. And then I'm going to flip it over. And when you flip it over, it's still going to be slightly moist. And I would recommend, um, I'd recommend leaving the Teflex sheet on there. Um, just because if you take the, the sheet off, it's going to warp and be all funny. And you kind of want it to be uniform when you're done. All right, mm -hmm. so look at that. Did we get it done? It's about, what, two, three minutes tops? I'm, I'm being really, really particular here. I'm going to come back to this in just a second. Pop these guys in. Look what's waiting for me. Two more. Why? Because I planned it that way. Mm -hmm. hey, and then we're going to go ahead and show you the results in a moment. Yep. Show you the results of what we had there. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Two more. Making it happen. Hey guys, just a quick report on the whole um, banana tortilla thing. What we did was we took a few bananas and threw them into the food processor. Then we laid them on these Teflex sheets, popped them in the dehydrator, I think for about 12 to 14 hours at about 113 to 118. Ours doesn't do 118, so 113 is where it went. Um, they create kind of this fruit leather. You peel it off. Sometimes it's going to stick to the Teflex, but whatever. Who cares? 
And then you've got basically got this really nice thin sheet. And what I did was I cut them into triangles and I rolled them up. I took some uh, banana nice cream. I did basically um, about a cup of almond milk in the Vitamix and about, I don't know, three or four frozen bananas that had been all broken up. I popped that in there and then we poured it in. We basically have sort of an ice cream cone. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks pretty darn awesome. Um, definitely some good happies for you to try out sometime. So I hope this is helpful. Hope it's a super yummy snack. God bless.